Welcome back, everyone, to the NBA 2K25 My NBA Expansion Series with the Mexico City Aztecs. Last episode, we saw opening night of year four as we tipped off against the Spurs. Cobb and Dennis, this young backcourt, led us to this victory, dropping 30 plus points each. While the first overall pick, Kylan Moore, had 16 points, nine rebounds, and a block on perfect free throw shooting. Cobb was 17 for 18, which is now a franchise record, just so you're aware. Wemby drops 20 and 20, but the Aztecs shoot 48% and 91% at the line in route to a 1 0 start to the year. But now we're going to face the Kings, not next game in a showcase game, but a couple of weeks later on the road in Sacktown against Trey Young, DeMont Tissabonis, and the third overall pick. A starting rookie, I guess, right now, Kibu Miller, who was actually playing the two spot, not at point guard his regular position. So it should be a fun game against them. No, no idea how good they are, but I guess we'll find out here in this one. We'll also get our first look at simming and what this team can do when we just go through a game without even watching. Last year, you know, things were not off to a good start. Hopefully things are different this year. I think we are going to be a better team than last year. I'm hoping for at least 500 ball, but uh, let's dive right in and just find out what happens. We sim through the next three weeks and we have played exactly 500 ball entering this game against the Kings who are only 2-10. So they are not very good. Miller is actually starting for Sacramento, so interesting development there. But uh, we had a couple of close losses, a couple of close wins too. Like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games, eight games, eight of these last 11 games have been within single digits and we lost a couple, won a couple. So I think we're probably a bit better than a record indicates. But still work left to do. We first lose against the Kings by one. One of only two wins for them all year. And Kylan Moore puts up what, at least at this point, would be a career high with 33 points. Uh, Dennis and Connect with 20 plus each as well. And we lost this game because their backcourt outplayed ours. Trey Young and Kiba Miller both with really good stat stuff and performances. Then we got a win against the Lakers by two. Dennis drops 23 and 9, double figures for six or five other players. While Nas Reed, now over in LA, drops 20 points to lead the way for the Lakers. We beat the Orlando Magic by four. Cobb drops 21, 8, and 7. Double figures for five other guys. Mark Williams, 17 uh, rebounds in this game. As Leonard Dennis, the brother of David Dennis, the twin, in fact, puts up 27 in this game we lose by 13 against the thunder and nobody for us scores more than 19 points but 20 plus for three different thunder players we beat the grizzlies by four behind 30 points for john cobb bowen 25 morant 24 then we got crushed by the hawks one of only three wins for them through nine okongu 23 and 10 22 for darren fox 29 for Kyle, but it does seem like that, at least through these first 12 games, the offense is definitely off to a relatively slow start. They have not been consistent. We lose against the Bulls by 10, 27 for Kyle, 21 for Dennis. Moore seems to always be like a top three score for us so far. We barely beat the Bulls without like a, you know, very impressive shooting day for any one player. And then we lose against the Warriors, who are 9-2. and two. 37 for David Dennis in the loss. 29 for Steph, 24 for Jonathan Kuminga. And then we lost against the Nuggets by 3. Strother puts up 40-plus. Good Lord. 35 for Cobb in the L. And now we're coming off a win against the Jazz. So we're just kind of trading wins and losses here. 20-plus for Cobb and Connect. A double-double for David Dennis and Mark Williams. And 22-9 and nine for Andrew Lee, who was the fourth overall pick. Getting plenty of playing time as a starter, in fact, alongside Dion York, who is now up to a 93 overall 
in his third year. So far, Cop has been our number one score, as you would probably expect. David Dennis shooting 43%, 20 points per game, 7 assists per game. So, you know, numbers, at least scoring-wise, higher than last year. But for Kylan Moore, the first overall pick, he has only shot 42%, despite being a power forward who also gets time at center. So, not shooting very well. He does have a lot of post badges, so... That is maybe a concern to look at, but 14 and 7 on average for him. And his three ball is better than Dennis's has been so far, despite a great opening night performance. His numbers from downtown have really uh, come to below average. So, not what you would like to see, but definitely not unexpected. And it looks like Dylan Young is shooting very poorly, only 36, 37% so far. So these rookies kind of off the slow scoring starts. I am still very much open to trying new playbooks and seeing what works best in simming and on the court. I think on the court matters more, even though we're simming most games, um, because we're going to watch the playoffs whenever that actually happens. That's going to become the most important part, and we all... We, we always center episodes on those showcase games. So what happens on the court in a showcase game is going to be more, most important. I got to keep in mind how that affects simming as well. I'm going to make one adjustment here to our, our rotation. And that would be to take a few minutes away from Wiseman and give a few more minutes at center to Highland Ward. So we get a bit of a different look for him at center. And we can do this and probably the third quarter and the first quarter. So this will shift Jairus Walker to 27 minutes off the bench. It'll give Kylan Moore 30 in total, which I think is the max I'm willing to go for him. And we'll get uh, some more look at him at the five spot in the first and third quarters. And we'll see uh, just a tad less of James Wiseman off the bench. And before we jump in, it looks like the third overall pick, Kibu Miller, is actually already putting up some amazing stats. He's like a morph between Cobb and Dennis stat-wise with 22.6 points per game and seven assists, five rebounds, one steal, one block, shooting very well from the field, at least from downtown and from the line. And he's getting 36 minutes of game time. So he has been a big part so far of the Kings' offense, uh, despite them being two and 10. They have a good one here in Miller. But here we go. We're on the road in Sacramento, California to take on the Sacramento Kings. And tip-off is officially underway here at the Golden One Center, the debut of our new away uniforms. Here we go, Aztecs against the Kings. Screen set by Mark Williams. David Dennis, downhill, throws up a shot and finishes through the contact. Miller with it, the third overall pick in this last NBA draft. Matched up against John Cobb. Blows by him for two to open the scoring for the Kings. That homie has averaged over 24 points per game. Very good start for the rookie. In this game, I do want to see a higher pace of play for us. As Williams freed up inside after a missed time steal from Sabonis. That's the first assist so far for John Cobb. He's been a pretty good passer this year, at least in our first game. Trey Young, Euro step deflected and denied by Williams. His rim protection is very, very just game changing for a defense like us that needs a guy like him down low as the first shot for Kylan Moore is no good. Want to get him going here offensively and get some good looks down low for him and to see what he can do posting up a guy like Sabonis or Bol Bol who fires off a three but can't connect. And Williams pulls down the miss. And now a uh, way team foul against Kylan Moore for a bad off-ball screen. 
goes the other way. More so far as the Sim blocks per game as Miller does, and Miller is a guard. Screen sent by a bowl bowl. Miller pulls up in Cobb's mouth and absolutely nails it. He's got all five for the Kings. Moore bounces it, connects, takes too long to fire, and misses. Up to Whitehead. And that pass is stolen away by Moore. Up ahead to Cobb against Bobo right into him for the first foul on Bobo. The second foul against the Kings. As Cobb comes in just below 90% at the line. And he starts two for two. Young drives, throws up a layup off the glass, and Danny has averaged over 31 points per game coming in. And the Kings are still 2 and 10. With 1 1 coming against us on the second game of the year for the Aztecs. So looking to get a revenge game back here as William spins and jams. Pick and roll. Trey Young keeps it and gets the loose ball back. Time counting down. Has to create. Bowl ball. Let's it fly. It's no good. Aztecs look to push it. And that ball sails between the hands of Kylan Moore. Right to Derek Whitehead for a turnover. Bowl ball has room. Another three-point attempt. This time it rattles home. He's one for three from behind the arc. Cobb drives it and is fouled by the third overall selection. First free throw for Cobb. Up and good. We saw him draw like nine fouls on opening nights. And he's already drawn two here in the first quarter. For tied at ten. On four down low, it's DeMontis Sabonis to Bulbo on the cut. Nearly got the end one. That's going to be a flag or not a flag. That's football. A foul, rather, on Kylan Moore, his second already. And it looks like he will stay in with those two fouls. As Bulbo goes one for two. Got a mismatch inside. Moore calls for it. Gets doubled, fires anyways, and connects. Good flare out. Whitehead catch and shoot three. No good. Moore pulls it down. Off ball screen set. Open look for John Cobb. His first field goal attempt is no good. That was a pretty good look. Trey Young. Trying to push the tempo, has it swatted away by David Dennis. We saw one last episode, now one here as well. His defense is very, very good, and now he stutter steps, goes up, and scores again. Six to play here in the quarter as Moore is in at the five, and John Cobb picks up his second foul on the driving take from Kibu Miller. So we got Moore, Jairus Walker, and Young in as the front court and forward, and Cobb and Dennis stay in as the backcourt's one-point game. Cobb lets it fly, and this time connects behind the arc. I'm winding down. King's got to find a shot. It's going to be a tough one, and Miller can't drain it. Rebound pulled down by the rookie Dylan Young. The three rookies right now on the courts with Moore, Young, and Miller for Sacramento. Here's Dennis, a mismatch against Dario Saric. He will throw it up and out. Working against Moore down low. So bonus leaves it for Saric. John Cobb in defense with the stop. And we turn the ball over. Moore and Cobb not on the same page there. And we give it right back to the Kings. Now a mismatch in, inside for Sabonis. Working against Cobb. Fading. 
And he got the roll. Off ball screen set. Another open look for Cobb behind the arc. And that one rattles in too. 20 points for the Aztecs. Pulling up. Miller's shots. Rims out. And Moore gives it right back. Another turnover right after a good rebound. Moore's already got like five or six of those. But the turnovers might prove costly as Miller steps into a shot but can't connect. Go defense by Whitehead who picks up a block on Cobb. Kings push the tempo and Miller is now 0 for his last three. Cobb finds space for himself but the shot won't go in. At least he's taking plenty of shots here in the opening quarter of play. Just has to find that efficiency here. Catch and shoot. Miller gets back on track. Timeout. Mexico City. Dumped inside to Jarris Walker. Bobol gets lost in the air on the pump fake. And Walker has his first points. Aztecs, despite shooting over 55% and the Kings below 40%, only lead by four points as Moore picks up a stay away to cut off that pass. Moore comes up for a screen. Rozier lets it fly. The bucket won't go, but Miller is called for his second foul. That will put Scary Terry at the line for three free throw attempts. First one, up and good. Max Christie makes his first appearance here in this game as Mark Williams will spell Kylan Moore. And Terry hits all three. Dumped. Nearly stolen, but Macy is freed up instead. Mark Williams has mistimed it. They can roll to Williams cutting inside. Downhill, back to Bol Bol. He lost it midair, stripped away, I believe, by Christie. And the Aztecs look to go fast, and Walker finishes through some contact from Bol Bol. And right now, we have doubled them on the boards and lead by nine here with under a minute left to go. Bol Bol, wide open, and he drills it. Good spin. Rozier can't finish at the hoop. Good defense that time by Devin Carter. Uh-oh, mismatch inside. Rozier needs some help. Extra pass out to Carter. Around a screen from the elbow. Front rim and out. Last play here in the opening quarter. Rozier leaves it for connect. Open, look. It's not going to go, but the offense is off to a solid start here. 29-23 through one in Sacramento. Start of the second quarter, we got Rozier, Williams, Young, Walker, and Ka back out there to open it. As they have brought in Maxwell Liu off of their bench. And he has to jack a shot up. No good over Cobb. Will Williams pulls down the mess. Cobb with it. Wants to go isolation, and he draws another foul. John Cobb just knows how to get the team to hack at him on these shot attempts. If it gets us points, I'm going to be happy with it. Open look. No good from Leo Macy. All the way to the 10 and fouled a second time. More free throws for Cobb. Just get ready for the year to be like this for Cobb, dude. He'll have some great scoring days because he will draw fouls and he will, in some games, light it up from the field as well. So far, that has not happened in, in uh, this game or the previous one, but once he catches fire shooting-wise, he's going to put up a couple of 40 bombs. James Booknight now in. The former Hornets 
Laces his first shot from deep. Backdoor cut for Dylan Young. That's more like it. Get the rookie involved. Let him cut towards the basket on plays like that. He's got the speed for it. Just get him the ball. Blowing by Cobb. Now inside, Book Knight has to shoot. The shot won't go. Corner screen set. Rozier on the step back. Offline. What happened here? Mismatch down low. Bobo doubled, tries to go around it and still finishes despite Williams right there, draped all over him. Aztecs will talk things over. 35-28, Cobb inside, laying it in through the traffic. He's already got 16 points on 50% from the field. This actually could be one of those days if he keeps things up. Quick shot, bucket won't go, but Jairus Walker is called for the foul. That's going to put Maxwell Lou at the line. Miller, Moore, Young, all top five right now in points per game for rookies this season. First free throw drops in for Lou. And he goes two for two. Wiseman checks in for Mexico City. Misses his first shot and gets it back with a statement jam. Open three. Bowl bowl. No good that time around as he's back in the bowl game. Dylan Young. Fast break to Cobb. Can't lay it in amongst the traffic. Three defenders right there with him. Back door to Macy. Good pass by a bowl bowl. And now we go fast on the other end right by Macy. On the defensive side, pretty similar plays right there. Cobb has already got like three or four assists early on here with those points as well. He's responsible for probably half of her points to this point. As Wiseman this time is ready for the pass and picks up a steal. And now he cuts inside and finishes through the contact. And one chance coming up. Assist goes to Dylan Young. Love the pace picking up here for Mexico City as the free throw is no good. But Mexico City leads by 11. Trey Young back in. His first shot it will find the bottom of the nets. Jairus Walker driving and fouled at the rim. Already the fourth in the quarter by the Kings. Front end for Jairus Walker. Not going to drop. Mark Williams will check back in for the Aztecs. Says Wiseman takes a rest and Walker goes 0 for 2. Come on. Trey Young whipped inside. So bonus got behind the defense. Screen comes up for Cobb. Step back, jump shot, foot on the line. It's going to be a two. Shot clock under five for Sacramento. Young steps back and misses that shot with Dennis straped all over him. He's back in the game alongside Moore, Cobb, Young, and Wisen. So both rookies right now checked in for the Aztecs. Can we get one of these guys involved here? Been a quiet offensive first half or more so far. It's been a hot start for the game to Cobb, or for Cobb rather, as that shot is blocked. So bonus. Back and down to Wiseman. Another shot clock winding down. And Young has to force another contested shot. Couple of pump fakes by Wiseman. And he draws a reach and foul, which will put the Aztecs in the bonus for the rest of the first half. First free throw will find its way through. And Wiseman goes two for two. Good job. Up ahead quickly. Whitehead leaves it for Young. His shot will go over Dennis. Good defense, better offense. High ball screen set, leaving Dennis wide open behind the arc, but the shot won't drop in. Miller finds Young, but this time he's off the mark. 
Going live for more. He can't get to it, but Young tracks it down. More slips by two defenders. Got his own rebound back, and it's kept alive again for the Aztecs. Dennis has it now. He got, he's got Dylan Young. Picks up his dribble, throws it up. Good defense by the Kings that time. Back door, and the lob is offline. He had a wide, had a wide open, but just missed him on the alley-oop. Someone's got to take a shot here. Young's got it. Miller draped all over him, and the fadeaway rattles out. They can roll here. Whitehead leaves it for a bull bull with the one-handed stuff. Good caught by Dylan Young for his second buckets. Screen from Sabonis. Trey Young is going to have to fire. Defense all over on the shot won't go. Very slow possession so far these last five or so minutes for both teams. Pace is really slowed down, but Christie wants to pick it up as the three drops in. Almost stole it. Sabonis hands it off, and Trey Young has missed his last couple shot attempts. Now three for ten from the field. And the offense take advantage and extend the lead. Open look for Dylan Young. The mid-ranger won't drop in. A couple of nice moves here by Miller. Working against Christie, and his step back shot is left short. 12 point lead right now for the Aztecs. Can we add to it prior to halftime? Dylan Young. Working against Trey Young here. Wants to ISO against him. Time counting down, and now he's doubled, leaving Christie open. And we have had so many open looks that, that have not gone in for Cobb, Young, now Christie. Miller's shot rims out. King's offense has come to a screeching halt as Miller is now 3 for 9 from the field. Screen comes up. David Dennis inside to Kylan Moore. Two-handed stuff. No shot clock left. Trey Young can't find the paints. Very good on-ball defense by David Dennis. Another tough shot for the Kings. We go to halftime leading 54 to 40. Defense looks great. Offense just needs to be a little bit more consistent and then we can really pull away here soon. Oh, look at this trade at halftime. Rudy Gobert sent to the Knicks. This is crazy. The Timberwolves, in real life, obviously, traded away Cat to New York and kept Gobert. But in this universe, it's Gobert a couple years later being sent to the Knicks instead. Insane. The second half begins. Things to work on and work to do for the Kings here, trailing by 14 points as Miller spins, fires, and got it to go to get him back on the board after a 30% shooting first half. Dennis leaves it for Cobb, right into a three-pointer that he answers with. Cobb leads all scores now with 21 points in this game. He has averaged 30 points per game on the road through 12 games, and I'll show you why right here. Trey Young responds with one of his own. Iso for Cobb against Miller. He leaves it for Dennis now. That's a wide open look that eventually bounces through. Trey Young, two for two to open the second half. Screen set by Williams. Dennis downhill, right into some contact. Number three on Kibu Miller. First free throw drops in for Dennis. He, he just looks way better than last year, man. Way better, way more confident shots, and way more consistent, too. As the Aztecs jump back ahead by 14 points. Whitehead comes off a screen, fires a three. It won't go, and Williams boxes out for the rebound. Uh, wants to go to work now. Driving on Miller and picks up his fourth foul. You do not want an ISO with John Cobb. 
the ball in his hands because he will draw a foul or score on you. Either way, points go on the board. Under five to go. Pass inside to Sabonis. And he's met by Williams, who does not like the foul call. It's going to be his first. It's a bonus so far this year. 14 points per game, 12 rebounds per game. About what he is usually doing. Will occasionally have a big offensive day scoring-wise, but not in this one. He goes one for two at the line here, and the Kings still trail by double digits. Off-ball screen set by Moore. Freeing up Cobb for another three, but it just... Rattles out. Top of the key. Whitehead pulls up again. Now over two to start the quarter. Good pass. Catch and shoot. Dennis can't lease it from deep. And Bobo pulls down the miss. And now it's stolen. Pass cut off by Moore. Fast break. Back to Moore. The assist to Connect. Almost stolen by Connect. Instead, it's a miss for Devin Carter, who has barely been involved here scoring-wise. Cobb inside! Left-handed stuff. Whitehead got turned around as Cobb flexes. He has been easily the, the, the best player on the court, no doubt about it. As the Kings now trail by nearly 20 points. Aztecs trying to pull away. Breeze no longer dropping for Sacramento. Little pick and roll here. Floated right to Moore. Nobody in the paint with them. It's a 20 point lead for Mexico City. And things are looking grim here for the Kings. Well, if things keep up here, it might just jump into a game later on. But I guess Bulbul has other ideas. Inside the paint, David Dennis has that one blocked by Trey Young. Rare sight right there. Kings take over, down by 17 points, looking to make their way back in this ball game. Just over half the quarter left to play. Whitehead feeds Bull Bull. He's got five straight. They're the number one passing team, which makes sense with Trey Young and Miller as their starting backcourt, but first and assist per game, and still only two and ten is uh impressively bad, I'd say. As Walker coasts inside, Cobb picks up the assist. Driving, throwing up a shot, but no good from Trey Young. Aztecs push the tempo here. Walker over two or th perhaps three defenders got it to go. He's been perfect from the field so far. And it's 73-54 Mexico City. High ball screen, fed to Bull Bull, bucket and foul. They're not going away just yet. The seven footer playing power forward. It's the free throw. And it's back to 16. So Cobb has his takeover on now. I got to check what that is once we jump out of this game. As he throws up a shot and finishes over Maxwell Lou. Good defense, but way better offense. Cobb's got 26 on 7 for 13 shooting. One of his best games all year long. Back door. Lou hop steps. Lost his dribble. Time counting down. Carter has to shoot. Hand in his face. And Dennis comes in for the rebounds. Cobb lobs it for Jarris Walker, but of all shots to miss. How is it a dunk? Quick shot, Devin Carter, I think has yet to score. Quick three for Cobb, that one rattles out. I still want to see more threes for us. We have shot half as many as the Kings that have been pretty efficient from downtown, but still not where I want it to be. I, I want to take like at least 35 a game. That has not been the case in these showcased ones so far. It could be a playbook issue. He'll stay with the Kings as Carter <coughs> once again misses from the field. Guarded by Ethan Love. Isolation for Cobb. A couple of dribble moves. Does not shake Love loose. And Cobb has to shoot. That shot's no good. So far, like somebody I said in the comments last episode, you know, Cobb does not seem to have the best strength when it comes to 
driving past or into players. He seems better at driving off ball and getting a cutting, you know, assist or catch and shoot threes and plays like that. So we're trying to set up one here, but it's guarded well by Love. But now he does blow by him and lay it in. Maybe I'm wrong. And it's a bonus. Steps out of bounds. It's going to be a turnover. If the score stays the same, I might just put in the highlights of Cobb or, you know, just some good offensive ones to get the highlights for him out of the way because I might want to jump into like a game later on where we have like a late finish that's uh, neck and neck towards the end. But if Cobb keeps on scoring, I want to watch. Okay, two straight buckets now driving into or uh, just by love right after I was talking about that. So maybe, uh, maybe he's not... Not that bad, actually, at that. He's got 30 points now as Macy has it guarded by Wiseman. The shot clock is winding down. The Kings have looked very slow offensively almost the entire game as Carter continues to shoot poorly. Good pump fake by Rozier. He is fouled on the take by Love. Putting him once again at the line for a couple of free throws. First one drops in. Aztecs are in complete control here in Sacktown. Open look across the court. Dario Saric can't connect. The Kings offense just looks honestly pretty, pretty terrible besides the highlights from Young and Miller so far. But even those guys have shot pretty poorly. And the pass is cut off. Saric turns it over. Screen from Walker. Connect. Downhill. Left it short. Third one against Ethan Love. Aztecs back in the bonus. Connect so far this year. 51% from the field. Pretty good shooting split right there. His free throws are both in there. Screen comes. Carter. Inside to Macy. And that's going to be a foul on Wiseman. First on him here in this one. First free throw offline from Macy. And he goes. One for two. Good caught. Caught with the finish. His hot game continues. Jairus Walker picks up that assist. Three seconds now. Ship separate the shot and game clock here to close the third quarter. And uh, the Kings are not going to win this one unless a miracle unfolds here on their home courts. Book Knight turns it over. Rozier to Wiseman. A decent look. Mid-range jumper drops in. Mexico City up by 27 points. What a first three quarters. All right, five minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Kopp finally back in the game to hopefully close things out. We want 40. All right, Cobb, I want 40 points. Shot clock counting down, and Moore just jacks it up. Rebound goes to Whitehead. Off ball play setting up for Cobb or Dennis here. It's going to be a shot for Cobb. He pulls up and got it. Up ball screen sets. Cobb's open. And he got the roll again. He's got 35. Up ball screen set again. Cobb got Miller up in the air. Drives and finishes over DeMontis Sabonis. One point away. One more bucket of free throw. I want 40, man. Please. We're going right to him. Open luck. Cobb with 42. That's like that's more like it, buddy. Let's go. We have a star in the making right here. His highest scoring total in a game this season to this point. I was waiting for a game like this from him. 
And it's the Aztecs taking this one on the road in Sacramento. The Kings fall to 2 and 11. And the Aztecs move over 500. John Cobb leads the way, dropping 42 points in this dominant win. The defense, these first two games, looks fantastic. Twenty-three and eleven for Bobo to lead the way for the Kings in this pretty crushing loss, but the Aztecs win back-to-back -back games with John Cobb dropping forty-two and seven. Wiseman had a lot of buckets to open the fourth quarter on pick and rolls, almost always twenty-one points in fifteen minutes. Kylan Moore thirteen points, but fifteen rebounds. Eva Dennis nine, four, and eleven. Cobb also passed the ball very well. Seven assists. He was great here in this game, both on offense and defense, going 14 for 24 from the field. The Aztecs shoot a whopping 57%. Only took 17 threes. We got to find a way to get more threes off because we can knock them down. We shot 41% and uh, shooting only less than 20 is not going to cut it. I want to be around where the Kings were, 34 or more a game so potentially a playbook change coming here soon but hard to make a change after a game like that where you have three quarters right around 30 points no complaints there besides the three points taken here we go very next game we go back home to face the rockets and frank bauer the new starter at the center spot after Shingun got traded away to the Raptors. And we lead by four, under four to go. Let's jump in and watch the rest. Rockets have Reed Shepard at the line for a couple of free throws here. First one drops in. And Shepard goes a perfect two for two. Starters out there. Here we go, leading by two and crunch time. Dennis leaves it for Cobb, catch and shoot, three, it goes high off the backboard and in. All right, I like that call. Well, one more three point shots, there you go right there. Jabari Smith going to work, throws up a shot, good defense by Kylan Moore. Screen set by Williams. Cobb finds him on the roll. Great pass. Another assist for Cobb. We have 29 so far in this game. I've only been 13 so far through the first 13 games, but that's a uh, better job than last year. Jabari Smith has it down low now with more guarding. Pass back out to Cam Whitmore. Time counting down. He will fire and absolutely drill it. Off ball screen sets. Cobb again for three. He buries it in response. Welcome to Mexico City, Houston. You guys are about to lose. At least I hope. Seven point game. Whitmore just coasting through connect. He's got 37 points. Has hit two of three shots on average insane here's Kylan Moore behind the arc his three won't go and Thompson pulls down the board Mark Williams comes up shaken up and Bauer is wide open but can't hit and Mark Williams will have to exit with what looks like to be a knee injury no not now there's two minutes left to go we need you for defense it was a replay of the injury. That's not going to be good. He just comes down on it in an awkward way. Could this be a serious injury for Mark Williams? So this means Kylan Moore moves to the center spot 
Darius Walker in at power forward as connects three won't go. I want to see him be more reliable from downtown here as down low. Emmanuel Quickly, who was acquired by Houston, is out with the hip injury. And Thompson drills the three bullets back to two. 90 seconds left to go. The scheme's not quite over. Screen set by Moore. Cobb finds him on the roll with the finish. Shepard drives, readjusting, going the other way with the bucket. Rockets not going away here. One minute left to go. Rockets need to stop on this possession. Now with Dennis. Space. Bucket good. The backcourt. A couple of huge plays late. It's not over yet, though. Reed Shepard lost the dribble, goes up again this time, can't hit. The Rockets might be out of juice, connects, misses the quick shot. Not a smart idea to go fast there, but it's going to stay with Mexico City. And now the rotation gets jumbled up. And we bring in Yabusele at center, and now Moore back at power forward. What's going on here? Almost a bad turnover by Cobb. But Dennis tracks it down. Moore doubled. Yabasele hits the shot. Is that going to be the dagger from Yabasele? Free ball for Reed Shepard. Rattles out. Thompson, though, gets the board and puts it back in. It's back to a four point game. They will have to foul. And guess who we've got taking free throws, everybody? The star himself, John Cobb. Maybe the Cobweb could be his nickname. Not really sure what I want to call him yet, but Cobweb could be something. He's got a Cobweb on his knee as a tattoo. But does it make sense? Who knows? Jabari Smith. Oh my God, that was almost a four point play. Big mistake by Kylan Moore. Could bring the Rockets back into striking distance here. If all three shots are good and we miss a free throw, then they could force overtime. And Smith goes three for three. They'll have to foul, obviously, again. And Cobb, I think, is pretty reliable, especially late in games. Front ends. Perfect. Home crowd on their feet. Cobb. Two for two, nothing but nylon. No timeouts for Houston. They've got to go fast. Whitmore falls over, misses the shots. And time runs out for Houston. Mexico City hangs on to win 134 to 130. A fun way to wrap up this episode, folks. We are eight and six through 14 games. A 42-point fourth quarter from the Aztecs offense leads them to a victory, a comeback victory, in fact. 20-plus for Dennis Cobb and Scary Terry. Dylan Young, 13 points, 9 assists, passing very well here in this game as Kylan Moore drops in a double-double, 11 points, 10 rebounds. Whitmore drops 37 in the loss for Hughes, and they fall to 7-7. Seven and seven. And now Mark Williams, only a sprained right knee, nothing serious. He'll be all right, thankfully. In the meantime, Colin Moore moves to the starting five spot in place of Mark Williams. We give more minutes to James Wiseman, and we are going to bring Yavaselli off the bench as Jairus Walker becomes the starting power forward. But regardless, three straight wins for the Aztecs. Now 8-6 and six on the year. Fourth in the conference as of right now. Only behind the Warriors, Spurs, and the Trailblazers. 5-5 five and five in our last 10. Offense needs some work. I'm curious on your thoughts about a playbook change to just at least get some more three-pointers up. Um, and simming it seems to not really be that big of a problem because, of course, simming is different than watching, but we still only shot 29 threes against the Rockets where they shot 50, which is a, quite a bit, but um, 
I would r r rather have more than less. So give me your thoughts on that. I already have like 18 three-point plays in our playbook, which is more than most playbooks have in general. So maybe that's not the issue. And uh, we'll see uh, what happens. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please like the video, subscribe, and uh, leave your thoughts down below. I'll see y'all next time. Take care. Have a great day.